So here I have a tiger's eye, and this one is in bright sunlight. So let's try to sketch this one. So I see that it's kind of this shape with a very tiny pupil here and a beautiful shadow from the eyelid, from the upper eyelid that kind of is cast onto the eye. So that's most important, the most important thing that I want to show. And this is the dark. Okay, so again, pay attention to the location of those markings. Again, we have this lighter area under the eye where we have a darker stripe underneath. And there are some markings here and the brow again. There it goes here and there is another marking over there, something like so. So this should be interesting because we have different colors in the fur. So let's try to do that. Now, I'm going to start with the brown. Let's see, maybe let's try this brown. I'm going to, or actually, let's try a greener brown. This. So this is a dark yellow, I would say. Let's start adding this into our darks. Like so. Then I'm gonna go into my cooler greens and I'm going to add immediately that shadow. This is too bright the color. Let's see this one? Yeah, this could work as a shadow on the tiger's eye. Like so. And then just slightly darken it up in some places right under the eyelid it's going to be darker like so then i see some redder um browns in the surrounding area around the eye something even warmer here Some of this color maybe here. So I'm gonna slightly blend it now. So we can add the lights over the top. First we add the darks. Um, gonna go in with the black and I will start shaping that eye. So not everywhere, I'm just looking at those darkest areas. So this is the inside of the eye that is quite dark. Like so, there's the... This is the shadow. It doesn't look dark now, but we will put that light color of the eye itself without the shadow. You will see how beautiful it's going to look immediately. Like so, then there we have, let's go into some blue or grays here on the edge. So it's quite light, it's not black, but it's some bluish gray. And let's go on into even lighter color over here. So this is the skin of the tiger over here like so maybe uh, let's add some warmth into that just a bit with this kind of brownish color so something warm here okay and now we need some very beautiful yellows and Let's see. Let's 
quite yellow the eyes, so let's add these yellows here. Like so. And I'm going to add an even brighter kind of highlight in some areas, especially here where the light kind of travels through. Like so. And I want to add something warmer to this corner here. And what I want to do is I'm going to take my pencil and drag out this color. Like so, to create that effect of lashes. Okay, and I need this iris. I need it stronger. Now let's take maybe this darker brown. I want to enhance that shadow over the eye even stronger, like so. And now to show that the eye is round, we need to add that highlight. And the highlight we can add with something light. Let's use our maybe. The blue, like so, and also that little highlight here. Okay, and some sparkle in the eye here, and also on this side, we have some of those sparklier areas. And what I want to do now is I want to take a white. I want to pull out some of these hairs over the eye to show that it's a fluffy creature that we have. This is a slightly off-white color. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to add some yellows into it, like so. Okay, and here we have that thing going high into the brow. Here's the black area here. Okay, and now I want to go into my slightly yellowish colors. And let's see this one. It's quite yellow. It's pretty yellow. Let's add this. I'm just going to clean it off with my tissue. I'm going to add some of those yellow sparkles into the white fur. So already that I used an off-white color, I still want to add some yellows into it as well. And now we go into these beautiful markings and we need them just kind of gingery. Let's see something. Maybe this one is gonna work good. Yep, I really like this color. So I'm going in here and looking at the markings, how they are shaped. Leaving space for that black stripe. Doing this here and then creating that beautiful marking here. And there's the brow here that goes more gingery and I'm gonna add something even like a peachy color to it just to give it a bit more life so it doesn't look so bland just a bit otherwise it looks too boring like 
like so. And now we can go into our blacks, but I think I'm gonna go through the blue. So through dark blue, I'm gonna take my dark grayish blue. I'm going to add those markings. So trying not to smudge too much. Like so. And then it goes over here like so into this marking here and this beautiful marking over here as well so I'm pressing quite hard you can see my easel moving adding some of this blue into the eye itself as well just darkening up a bit this um, dark part of the eye and we have some of those markings here and now we can add that dark gray over the top of this blue so this is not black it's almost black it's off black like a grayish color And you can see we don't need to do any hairs or any kind of tiny detail to show the actual animal. 